My name is John Gilroy and I'm a stained glass artist. Stained glass, proper stained glass, is, takes in a lot of different media of actually drawing, painting, before you actually get to the glass part. Just to summarise as quickly as possible, is we start off, my wife and I, Laura, start off by doing an inch to foot watercolour design. That um, shows the client basically the colours we're going to use in their window, roughly where everything goes. Then from there, we then move that on to what's known as a cartoon, which is a full-sized working drawing. And what that is, it shows all this in black and white. It shows all of the, uh, should we say, the, the tonal values, the semitones, the darks, your highlights. So from that, once we've actually selected and uh, started cutting the mouth-blown glass that we use, and it's handmade and produced in Europe, we then bring it over, select it for here for what we're going to use it for. From there, you apply the paint. Once you start actually got everything done, you, you put the, all these bits of glass up onto an easel using beeswax. And then once they're up there, this gunky looking mud stuff here is actually the paint. What it is, it's uh, some metal oxides, um, some powder glass which acts as a flux, which uh, helps the actual oxides sink into the glass or fuse into the glass when it's actually fired. Once you get to a certain stage that you're all happy with everything that's worked, you then take it off the easel, put it through the kiln. It gets fired in the kiln at 720 degrees centigrade. That's about 1340 Fahrenheit. What happens then is the actual paint fuses into the glass. That's permanent. That means that just it then you can rub it, it will never come off. So proper stained glass takes in painting, staining. Once all that's done, you move on to the leading process where we then start doing what what is more the craft side of stained glass. You lead all the pieces together you, using lead came, which is an H cross section. And uh, it has little flanges and a heart of the lead so that the glass actually fits into the lead. What it will do from there, from then, once you've got your window all done, you then solder it, turn it over, solder it again on the opposite side. Once all that's all picked off on both sides and all done, cured for a couple of days, you then polish the window and finish it off that way and then it's ready for installation.